right corner. One minute of 59 point, five kilos, and with a record of two fights for one win. From Hustle Fight Club, trained by Russell Withridge, ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea! Both fighters are similar height here. No one really has a reach advantage. Similar experience, two fights each. Melinda has two wins and Chelsea has a win and a loss. So this looks like it could be a pretty good matchup. Blue corner coming along quite strongly, really trying to apply pressure. Just trying to break her op opponent down and just mentally dominate her. Well, the red corner is not going to stand back and uh, just let that happen. Fighting back and throwing some good shots. Yeah, nice straight punches from the red corner there. Moving forward well, but got her opponent in the corner there. Really good pressure. That's it, but some really nice knees coming back from the blue corner there. Blue corner's got some really nice high knees coming through there, so she's able to get those knees up, up to the body quite nicely. But the red corner just coming forward and landing some good uh, punching technique. And obviously, she's uh, withstood that initial onslaught and she's working her way forward now herself. Seems to be quite strong, the red corner. A, a good balance, good tight guard, and just really trying to walk through her opponent at this stage. I think blue corner really needs to use her footwork and use her angles, which when she does, she does quite well. first round there from both fighters uh, started off with blue corner coming out very strong and looking to just overwhelm her opponent and get her on the back foot but uh, the red corner wasn't going to stand around and let that happen so she she had quite a strong guard and stood her ground and fought her way back through there and started to really stalk her opponent down so you can see the tactics that are going to work here uh, for each fighter in the red, red corner, Chelsea is obviously going to try to stalk her opponent down and just keep the pressure on. And I think uh, the blue corner, Melinda, is probably going to be best served using her footwork and trying to keep her opponent just at the end of her technique a little bit more, so keeping a little bit more range. You can 
can see that blue corner is doing well from a distance, but as soon as it closes that gap, the red corner starts to take over a little bit. I think the, the blue corner would be well served to get in, land some quick shots and then get out and, and reposition herself, use her range, use her angles and always try to work back towards the centre of the ring. Just turning the tables, getting getting the red corner back into her own corner here. So we'll see if red corner can fight her way back out. If fatigue sets in a little bit for the red corner, it could make her job a little bit more difficult to keep pressing forward. So. She, you may find that as she fatigues, uh, she's not quite going forward quite as readily. Yeah, nice knee there from Blue Corner. You can see she's repositioning herself out of the corner, trying to get back to the center of the ring and then force, force her opponent back. But the red corner's done a really good job there, turning her back onto the ropes and, and keeping that pressure there. So she's trying to fatigue her opponent, and that's certainly the way to do it. And a nice high kick followed by a straight cross. The red corner just coming forward, throwing good straight hands left, right with the high guard. So she's. Red corner just just walking through. You can see she's breathing a little bit heavily. Both both fighters are breathing a bit more heavily now. So this is where the fatigue will really start to kick in, and it really comes down to who can handle that fatigue better. So. I think red corner is going to try to keep pressing forward, um, but with the fatigue setting in, it's going to become more difficult and we'll see if she's able to, to keep that pressure on um, because when that doesn't happen, when she's not going forward, I think the blue corner is going to be looking to land those long techniques and moving. I think it's going to come down to who can, who can who can just push themselves through this uh, this final round the best? And this is where it comes down to training and preparation, and really digging deep and having a, uh, a strong constitution. And neither fighter is really afraid to mix it up. They both want to get in there and, and take this victory. So whoever whoever takes this fight, they're certainly going to earn it. Blue corner, she could just use her angles and cut her opponent off a little bit, use long techniques, long kicks to push her opponent back. But the red corner is just going to keep walking through that. So that's it. So the blue corner needs to hit and then move. She can't afford to stay, stay in that close range. Once she hits her shots, the red corner is looking to come forward. So she needs to be able to get in there, land her shots, and then quickly get out of range again. A nice body kick from the red corner. That was a really good kick up under the ribs and followed by a good low kick inside leg. Yeah, she's starting to work really nicely now, the red corner, putting those hands and the low kicks together nicely. And I think she's... Um, Starting to fatigue the blue corner out a little bit more now. So the blue corner's got to dig deep here. Keep working. She can't afford to sit back too much. Yeah, red corner just starting to take a little bit of control of this last round. Right, blue corner coming back as well. Yeah, very good fight that one, very good fight. Both fighters giving it their all. A 
be looking forward to a rest after this. We'll see which way the judges go here. This could be a, a very close fight as well. So, like most of the fights on the uh, the show last night, very well matched and very close as well. So the judges are certainly having to work hard to find a winner here. So judges have obviously been impressed with her technique and scored what she was doing very highly with her in and out movements.